All right, so we have added a few new columns to our Clean Beaches data. But what you'll notice is that when we look at the clean beaches in our environment, um, nothing has changed. Okay, so this is one of the hardest things I have found in learning R to get my head around is what do you mean the clean beaches data doesn't include all those new columns, but I just like created them and they appeared in my console. Why is the clean beaches just the same as it was before? It's because we haven't assigned the output of that operation to an object. So it's told us and shown us what the output would look like but we need to assign it to a new object in order for that to stick around as part of an object in our environment. So let's um, pipe some things together to do everything that we just did in one foul swoop, um, creating a new data frame in our environment that includes all these new variables. All right, so we'll let's call this new object um, Clean beaches new, right? We use the assignment um, operator. And so what we'll do is take our clean beaches data and we'll pipe it into the first thing we want to do to it. So to begin with, up there, we separated out the date to create um, separate columns that include day, month, and year. So let's do that again. We can create new columns that are day, month, and year. Remembering that we always need quotes around these things. And Let's say remove is false so that we keep the date in the data frame as well. All right. The other, the next thing we did was unite council on site, which is kind of a useless thing to do. So let's skip that step, right? So we're going to separate out the day, month, and year. And then we want to add several new columns using the mutate. Function. The first of those is the log of the beach bugs data. So we say we want to create this new thing called a new column called log beach bugs that is equal to the log of beach bugs. And then we'll pipe that to the next thing. The next thing we want to do is create a new thing called beach bugs different scores by taking each value of beach bugs and subtracting the one previously using the lag function. We'll pipe that to a mutate. We want to see whether each value is buggier um, than average. So if we create a new thing called, I'm going to call this buggier all for reasons that will come um, that will come clear in a second. Um, so we want to see whether each value of beach bugs is greater than the mean of all the beach bugs. And this time I'm going to remember to say that Remember to remove the, um, the NAs when it's calculating that mean. And then I want to show you, let's just check that's going to run actually. Every time you um, pipe a whole lot of things together, you want to stop every now and again and make sure that you haven't made a mistake somewhere along the way. So, go. We now have this new thing called Beach Bugs, um, Clean Beaches New, that has our date separated out into day, month, year. 
and further along it has not just raw beach bugs but log beach bugs, different scores and values according to whether each of these beach bugs readings is greater than the average of the whole data set. Now I want to show you how you can use functions that we used last time um, like group by to create grouped computed variables as well. So let's imagine that in this case it's for the likes of the first beach at the top is Clavelli. There's a lot of false in here because Clavelli is a relatively keen beach and so relative to the mean of all observations Clavelli is always looking good. But it would be nice to know whether each of these readings was buggier than average for Clavelli and then further down for Kuji or for Bondi. So what you can do is use group by um, to essentially create another column that is buggier by sight. And if you go group by first, then it will put true falses in that column that are, uh, whoops, what we need to do first we do this, we need to go group by site, okay? And then for this last one, we want to create a new column that is buggier by site, and it's going to judge true false, whether each value of beach bugs is greater than the mean of beach bugs. Remembering to ignore NAs. But because right before that, you asked it to group by site, the mean it's going to use to make this judgment is going to be the mean per site group. So it's going to look at the mean of Clavelli, and then for Clavelli values, judge whether it's more buggier than Clavelli is on average. All right, let's see if that works. Okay, so if we look back over here and look at our Cambridge is new again. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so you can see now we've got two buggier columns. One tells you whether this reading is greater than the average across all of the sites. And this tells you whether the reading is greater than the average for that site, so grouped by site. So um, we can see that a value of 19 for Clavelli is higher than average, but relative to the whole, all of the data set, it's not. All right, so there's an illustration of how you can um, create a whole lot of new variables and use um, functions that you've, you learned about last time, like group by, in combination with mutate to add interesting new variables to your data set.